on the long list for the Man Booker Prize, and we're very proud of him for that. The short list will be announced on Tuesday, and we have a feeling we know what one of those will be. We're just, we're just betting on it. Well, um, uh, thank you so much. I, I haven't been so moved since I first came here sometime in the 1990s, and Cody, in a moment of extraordinary generosity, gave me a moon pie to take home. And um, moon cake? Is that moon pie? Moon pie. And I have kept it in my desk ever since. And it, it, is, it is incorruptible. It is a thing. I, I, and I sometimes think if I, things come to the worst, I'll be able to eat it. But now I know I'll be able to uh, fix it. Um, fix it as a seal to that most marvellous proclamation. I'm going to drive a nine-inch nail through it into the wall, through the moon, cake, pie, whatever it is. Uh, if the nail doesn't bend, then um, it'll have pride of place in my writing room. So um, uh, thank you so much. I, they do say uh, that a writer, a writer survives uh, by the extent to which he's misunderstood. And... Um, I must say, America's been very kind to me in this regard over the years. I, I was once introduced in Chicago as um, Tanzania's leading novelist. And um, uh, so excited was the man who introduced me that he, um, he then extolled me as Africa's greatest novelist. And uh, this drew a lot of praise. And um, a few years later, I came back and... In, and in Portland, because of the confusions of accent, which I'm sure you're familiar with also, uh, I was uh, introduced as a French poet uh, <laughs> at a time when it um, wasn't really that good to be either um, French um, in this country, being 2004, thank you, Amos, or even a poet, which has never been such a great thing to be here. But uh, I must say, here in... Um, here in Oxford, I've never felt misunderstood. I've always felt the opposite. I, I, um, from the very first, I, um, I really did feel at home and so welcome. And when today uh, I got out um, of the Memphis airport and there was my dear old mate, Daddy Roberts, um, I felt a great burden left. I mean, the touring can be a, um, a gruelling and gritty experience. And uh, I just felt all that weight and uh, uh, all that burden just fall away as we drove down here and then to meet so many dear friends. Um, to think about those that have passed since the last time I was here, uh, Larry Brown, Barry Hanna, uh, dear, dear, Willie Gay. But to think also of all the new writers that keep on turning up, um, Jamie Cornegay, has got a new novel coming, well, his first novel coming out, which is so such wonderful news. Lisa's got her book to see Tommy Franklin here, still here, and uh, to meet Chris Uffert. And I can see that um, although people pass on, that this great tradition you have in this most marvellous place continues more strongly than ever. And um, I'm, I really am so moved that... Um, you would um, see me as one of yours. I, I genuinely am.